In the realm of scientific inquiry, it's not uncommon for two scientists to examine the same physical evidence and arrive at completely different conclusions. Take, for instance, a fossil. One scientist may assert it to be 100 million years old, while another contends it's a mere 4,300 years old. How can this discrepancy exist when they're examining identical evidence? The answer lies not in the evidence itself, but in the worldview each scientist brings to interpret it. This fundamental issue underpins the ongoing debate between creationism and evolution. It's not merely a clash of evidence, but a clash of worldviews, a topic that often leaves people feeling uncertain due to a perceived lack of sound biblical answers. However, the crux of the matter lies in anchoring our thinking in the Word of God. Many Christians overlook the essential question, does what we observe in the natural world align with what we read in God's Word? This question becomes particularly contentious in light of secular views that dismiss the Bible as a book of myths and fairy tales, labeling believers as unscientific or intellectually deficient. The dinosaur family tree is often portrayed as a branching lineage, illustrating the supposed evolution of various dinosaur species over millions of years. This visualization, however, is based on interpretations of fossil evidence that are subject to a range of uncertainties and limitations. One of the primary challenges in reconstructing the dinosaur family tree lies in the incomplete nature of the fossil record. Fossilization is a rare and selective process, resulting in the preservation of only a fraction of ancient organisms. As a result, there are significant gaps in our knowledge of dinosaur evolution, particularly concerning transitional forms that would bridge the gaps between major groups or species. The scarcity of transitional forms presents a considerable obstacle for evolutionary theory. According to the theory of evolution by natural selection, species gradually evolve through a series of incremental changes, with transitional forms representing intermediate stages between ancestral and descendant species. However, the fossil record often lacks these transitional forms, leaving researchers to fill in the gaps with speculative interpretations and hypothetical constructs. In some cases, the absence of transitional forms has led to debates and controversies within the scientific community. For example, the evolutionary relationships among certain dinosaur groups remain contentious due to conflicting interpretations of available fossil evidence. Without a comprehensive understanding of these relationships, constructing an accurate and reliable dinosaur family tree becomes challenging. Furthermore, the interpretation of fossil evidence is inherently subjective and influenced by researchers' preconceptions and biases. Different paleontologists may interpret the same set of fossils in divergent ways, leading to varying reconstructions of dinosaur evolutionary history. This subjectivity introduces an additional layer of uncertainty into the construction of the dinosaur family tree. Returning to the biblical account, we find a straightforward principle creatures reproduce after their own kind. This principle, reiterated throughout scripture, aligns with the fossil evidence of fully formed creatures reproducing after their kind, challenging the narrative of gradual evolutionary transitions. The absence of the term dinosaur in the Bible is often a point of discussion among scholars and individuals interested in both science and religion. To delve deeper into this topic, it's essential to consider the historical context surrounding the Bible and the term dinosaur. The word dinosaur was first coined in 1841 by Sir Richard Owen, a British scientist who used it to describe a group of ancient reptiles characterized by their large size and distinct skeletal features. This term emerged long after the biblical texts were written, which were compiled over centuries by various authors. However, despite the absence of the term dinosaur in the Bible, some biblical passages describe creatures 
that bear striking similarities to what we now understand as dinosaurs. One notable example is the behemoth mentioned in the book of Job, specifically in Job 40, 15, 24. This passage depicts a mighty creature with characteristics such as great strength, massive limbs, and a tail compared to a cedar tree. Interpreting behemoth as a dinosaur aligns with scientific understanding, as dinosaurs were indeed large, powerful creatures with distinctive features such as long tails and massive bodies. Some argue that the description of behemoth in Job closely resembles certain dinosaur species, challenging interpretations that suggest it represents more mundane animals like hippos or elephants. This alignment between biblical descriptions and our scientific understanding of dinosaurs raises intriguing questions about the intersection of faith and science. It prompts discussions about how to reconcile ancient religious texts with modern scientific discoveries and interpretations. Moreover, the flood narrative in Genesis provides a compelling framework for understanding the existence of dinosaurs alongside other land animals on Noah's Ark. Contrary to popular misconceptions, the biblical account doesn't entail fitting full-grown dinosaurs onto a small vessel, but rather emphasizes the inclusion of young adults capable of reproduction. Exploring the realm of pictographs and petroglyphs, ancient rock carvings depicting dinosaur-like creatures offer intriguing insights. These depictions, found worldwide, challenge conventional narratives of dinosaur extinction millions of years ago and suggest coexistence with humans throughout history. Regarding the extinction of dinosaurs, secular explanations abound, ranging from changes in Earth's magnetic field to meteor impacts. However, these theories often overlook the biblical perspective which attributes extinction to various factors within a fallen and cursed world, including post-flood environmental changes and human influence. The significance of dinosaurs extends beyond mere scientific inquiry. It intersects with foundational theological principles. Understanding the biblical perspective on dinosaurs is essential for reconciling the Genesis account with scientific observations and equipping believers with robust answers grounded in scripture. If you found this video enjoyable, please consider liking and sharing it. Additionally, subscribing to this channel will ensure that you receive more updates in the future. Thank you.